Hello, hello everyone, and welcome on back to the channel. Today we are doing a tutorial on this little starter airship right behind me. I've got it at sunset just because I think the sun behind the airship is so pretty, but this is our little airship we're going to be building today. This was the very first tiny airship I designed for over on the core SMP. It looks great parked right next to your ultimate sky pirate starter base if you've also built that one of my tutorials or if you just want a tiny little airship to get you started into the world of building airships then this is the one for you. It's got a tiny little bit of decor here on the ship itself. It's got these cute little fins and a propeller here on the back and with all that, let's head straight into our material list. And these are the materials you are going to need for today's starter airship build. You're going to need some white wool, light grey wool, barrels, grindstones, spruce fence chains, and a few different deep slate walls. You'll only need four walls total, I just like a bit of texture so I'm using a few variants for that one. We've got dark oak logs, planks, stairs, slabs, and trap doors, as well as a bit of stripped spruce wood, only one or two pieces. Some spruce stairs, spruce slabs, spruce trap doors, oak trap doors, and a singular jungle button. You might also also want some scaffolding for building this if you're in survival and in this chest here it's everything we're gonna need for a bit more of the just interior decor if you will. So if you want to also do the decoration on this one that I do you're gonna want a cartography table, a crafting table, some more barrels and chests, a spruce stair, some spruce signs, a dark oak sign, some flower pots, a lily of the valley, lanterns, brown carpet, an item frame and a compass. And now, launching straight into the tutorial, grab yourself some scaffolding, dark oak planks, stairs, slabs, and trap doors, and just start placing your scaffolding up to the height wherever you want to place the base of your airship. Now, there are two ways you can start with the placement of this one. If you're doing it in open air, you're going to be doing what I'm doing right here, or if you're building this one at a dock, such as at our Ultimate Sky Pirate Starter House's dock, you're going to want a two block gap between the airship and the dock itself and you're going to want to do an upside down stair like this and then a block just diagonally from it and this is going to be the base of the airship that we're working with. Otherwise just place a dark oak plank on top of your scaffolding and then go three to the left and three to the right to start off with. Then using your stairs we place a stair here, turn the corner stair here, one, two, three, four blocks and then another stair facing towards the back. And this is going to be the front and the back side of our airship. And then we repeat that over here on the other side. So stair, four blocks, and two more stairs. Now if you're building in survival, you might want to make a little scaffolding platform down here at the bottom with a little bit of space between you and the airship. Otherwise, grab your dark oak trap door and we're placing four of them just like this. One, two, three, four in line with where our four full blocks are. Then going up a layer, just place a filler block and get rid of it again and we're going in with our stairs. And we're taking these and rounding off the corners just like this up to the same point our stairs here extend to. So continuing our stairs like this and then turning at the end and then repeating this around the other side. Then moving forward with our airship, using your slabs, you're going to be placing one, two in front of this block here on the left. So this is the front end of our airship. Then we're popping a stair right here and going forward with a trapdoor right there and then a dark oak plank. Then another plank forward and another slab on the top of that and then up with three more slabs just like that. Then what we can do is place our dark oak trapdoors in like this just to cover that exposed piece from our stairs. Then we're placing in these trapdoors right here with filler blocks on top which we're then going to be placing dark oak stairs like this and closed trapdoors outside our filler blocks deleting them after the fact. Then it's just slab and trapdoor like this and slab and trapdoor like this with three more trapdoors in those little spots to create this little triangle of them. And then with the little front of our boat done, come around to the back here and we're going to be placing another filler block and then a plank just like this with stairs either side of those just like that. Then coming here on the inside, we're placing three dark oak stairs just along that back line. Then again, we're placing filler blocks and just running trap doors all around the outside of those three. And then closing them and doing that. 
Then for the final touch up here, we're placing some stairs, followed by slabs and trapdoors, and there we have our little base for our airship. And now we're gonna be moving into connecting up and then building our balloon piece for our airship. So grabbing a variation of deep slate walls, we're placing two wall pieces on top of the trap doors here at the front, and then two wall pieces at the back right in front of our line of stairs. Then using spruce fences, we can place a spruce fence on top of all of those and then two chain on top of that. There we go. And then again with our fence pieces on top of our chains. All right, and now for building the actual balloon part of your airship, you're gonna need stripped spruce wood, spruce stairs, spruce slabs, spruce trapdoors, oak trapdoors, white wool, and light gray wool if you're interested in shading it a little bit here on the bottom half. Then coming in here, starting with our stripped spruce wood, we're just placing four of those on top of our fence pieces. Then using our light gray wool, we are connecting all of these with a flooring of the light gray and then we're extending it past them by one on either end. Then for your next layer up, we can run one, two, three, four, five, six of our light gray and white wool along here. And here towards the front, we're leaving this one out. So we're gonna create the effect of it being a little bit more pointed here at the front with the shaping. And then on top of this line, we're going forward two here on the middle with our white and then running our white all the way to the back, going past it by one just there. Then up another layer, we are mirroring our little shape right here onto that side and then mirroring this little shape around here. And then with both sides beginning to take shape, coming around to the back here, we can go diagonally out and place one block right there and then two pieces to either side of it in those diagonal places. Then coming up here, we're just making a little star shape right here on the back and then also filling these diagonal spaces just like that. And then coming around the front, we can place a block right here just to the left of our spruce wood. Then place another forward by one, up and to the left again, up and back to the right. And then with this shape in, we're repeating it just here on the other side as well. And we're also filling in this space here at the bottom and doing the same here at the top, just like that. And then using our white wool, we're just filling in the rest of this space one more layer upwards just like that so that from a top down point of view we should be looking at something like this where this end is our front and we're missing one more block right here at the front just to add that point to our balloon then with your balloon looking something like this if this is survival grab yourself a torch and pop that there on the inside so you don't have to deal with mob spawning and now grabbing our wood, we're gonna start detailing up the balloon. So with spruce slabs, we're running them one, two, three here along the underside. Then with trap doors towards the front, it's one, two, upside down stair, trap door, stair, and then our stripped spruce wood piece, a slab right there on the top half of the front of it, then trap door on top of that and a stair right there. Then it's trap door stair again, trapdoor slab slab then with this front half of our shaping in we're going to be bringing in the first of our fins so coming in here behind where our two slabs are we're placing a stair a block another stair upside down stair then slab up one with our slabs another slab then trapdoor trapdoor just like this slab and one more trapdoor Underneath this point, it's also slab, slab, and then just one in the ground of the airship right there. Then a trapdoor right here, stair, trapdoor, trapdoor on the back, stair. And then right here underneath, we have another fin to bring in. And we start that by placing an upside down stair right here behind our three slabs. Then a stair behind that, slab down one, block down one, another slab on the end of that and then with our trap doors, just like this. Now we need to start filling in our fins with our oak trap doors. So coming in behind them and placing one just like this behind that stair, then fitting one into this gap like that, back around the end, two more, getting rid of that one there, and then one final one right there. So we should have five total oak trap doors and it's gonna have this really cute little filled in effect from this side. Then coming up to the top with our oak trap doors, we're placing one open just like this into this gap. Then all the rest of them coming around this side, we're going two here, two here. We're also popping two just here above that one. And then we're going two 
like this and then one right here on the end just like that and now we're gonna create a few little lines of spruce support on the balloon so coming in right here to this front spruce wood piece we're going trapdoor stair trapdoor stair trapdoor trapdoor just like that then moving over two blocks it's trapdoor stair and then three trapdoors then another stair and another trapdoor there on top and then very similarly right here on the end it's another stair and three trapdoors then stair and trapdoor right there and then we're repeating this little pattern on the other side and then with the body done we're coming around the back to add our propeller using dark oak logs barrels spruce stairs oak trapdoors grindstones and a singular jungle button then with dark oak logs we're going one two three four out from this back point then using our barrels we're wrapping them around one backwards from the end right here just like this facing outwards in those four spots then with our spruce stairs we're placing them so that they all flow around facing in one direction so just like this and it should be looking something like that with the directions of our stairs then oak trap doors we're placing two right here two right here two just there and then two on this last one as well then using grindstones we're going all the way around our end log piece and popping a jungle button right there in the middle and with our super cute propeller added and both sides of the balloon looking really cute we're grabbing some lanterns and chains to add a tiny bit of lighting and i'm just going to be adding in maybe a chain and a lantern right there and just a lantern right here on the front end and the airship is now pretty much done we're just going to be adding a little bit of decoration here in the body of the ship so grabbing cartography table spruce stairs spruce signs dark oak signs item frame compass barrel chest and crafting table we're going to start by placing our cartography table right here at the front one block back from this little front stair then just for a little bit of detail i'm popping a dark oak sign right there on the front end of our cartography table item frame on top with a compass right there then a spruce stair behind it with signs on either side to make this little chair then coming towards the back it's two barrels and a chest just like that and then a crafting table and a chest there on the right side then for the final touches grab yourself some brown carpet some flower pots and a lily of the valley and i'm just splashing a little bit of brown carpet around adding a flower pot and a lily on top of the crafting table and just an extra little flower pot on top of that barrel and there we go your starter airship is now complete a super quick and simple build really it does not use too many resources and i really hope it's perfect to get you started into the world of building your own airships and with that we are back here in the model build to say our farewells for today's tutorial but really thank you so much for stopping by the video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed today's super cute little tutorial and let me know down in the comments any tutorials or other videos you'd like to see from me in the future i really hope you enjoy having this little starter airship in your world just as much as i have enjoyed having it over in our sky pirate base on the core smp and i will see you in the next one Bye bye